What is up? Good morning, ladies and gents. Good afternoon, wherever time you're listening or watching this. We have a new Universe 2 content video. I'm going to be showing you guys the, one, of the, one of the fastest ways to level up your, or level up the glory points or get the glory points and get all the rewards and festivals of universes. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right on into this. So for this, you're typically going to need a Saiyan build or somebody you use more so for Key Blast characters. And for this specific Super Soul that I'm using, uh, it's going to be tailored to Super Saiyan God. But, but I recommend if you have any other Super Soul that boosts maybe your normal attacks, Key Blast attacks will be good too, but more so normal attacks. I say this because when you're on this grind, um, I'm going to be showing you guys one parallel quest that I've been doing, but there's another parallel quest that you guys can do that you can just, you know, tailor to both of your, your play styles. And so what I wanted to, you know, reiterate or emphasize here is that on your character, make sure that your key blasts are at its highest. I put mine at 200. If you want it any lower than that, make sure it's just enough, at least above 150 or 125, because you want to have a big amount. And in your uh, normal attacks or basic attacks, you want to keep those at about 100 or so, because your super soul and your key ring is going to help that a lot. And then use the rest for whatever you want to do. I still have a lot to put in mind, because this character is not leveled up all the way. I will be doing a same build on this character though soon. So stay tuned for that. So with all that being said, now we're kind of got, got ourselves set up and ready to go into the uh, actual Festival of Universes. When we go into the Festival of Universes, we're going to actually check our skill set real quick. When you check your skills, oh, you want to have equipped at least a Sphere uh, Ultimate or, or and or another like beam attack so i say recommend something like i have th I, on mine i think i have thunder flash and super spirit bomb you can do revenge death ball and kamehameha for example so try and do alternates the reason why i say this is because when you do expert missions especially the ones you're going to do this week and this one this is the level up for this week because i'm going to be doing these weekly and so for this week they have specific expert missions that some you can do when you when you want to fight and i i get that some people don't want to just throw a ball the whole entire time if you want to make it easier for yourself do, by all means do so but some people kind of get bored with that so this is just an option to have like both ends and you can pick between these two expert missions and just do even just one of them and kind of switch between your move sets and use normal attacks but I, I did the preset or like the customization and the equipment before so that you can set yourself up so that both is doing damage and not just one. And so with all that being said, when you get into the parallel quest, uh, you're going to actually want to go to parallel quest number, I believe it's number 14. And the other one I was talking about is number nine. You can go to that one too. But number 14, these are the big boosts this week for expert missions. And they are actually easier. I think expert missions are easier and quite e the easiest thing to do in universe besides parallel quests. And so I think, yeah, if you get this done, you can get it. You can get the extra boost, which is like 200 something um, glory points and all that good stuff. And yeah, like, let me look. I actually go through it once and I actually got a quite amount i'm not again i'm not that high up because i haven't been playing that much but i am planning to grind a little bit later so hopefully you can rack up another set of glory points i can probably get to like 20k or something like that it's going to be a grind but we're going to see so if this helped you guys if this helped you give you some insight on where you want to go with your character when it comes to pqs i think this is neat because again you can set up your characters to tailor towards different things it doesn't have to always be about battling it could be about you know okay i can tailor this to this pq i can tailor this to expert missions and that way you can switch out between characters as you're going through your festival of universes and you're grinding between different characters i think that's pretty cool so leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new let me know if that helped you guys or anything like that in the comment section we're gonna have some more xenoverse 2 content peace